Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today's video is going to be a first look, swatches, review, and makeup tutorial on the Glossier Halo Scope. You guys know I am obsessed with Glossier products and I'm really excited to be working with Glossier again. I got to try these out for about two weeks now. I've been using them non-stop to really get a good in-depth review and opinion for you guys. Yeah. And it's been so hard to keep it a secret, so I'm finally able to share it with you. I'm so excited about these. They're incredible. If you wanna see my thoughts, swatches, and how I created this really radiant makeup look, then just keep on watching. Glossier launched two new Halo Scopes, which are essentially highlights. They're very unique. I haven't played with anything like this on the market. This is a crystal infused highlight and each one is different. So this one is quartz and this is infused with rose quartz on the outer ring. On the inside is a solid oil. It's just amazing. It's so good if you like a natural hydrated look. The Topaz one has a bronze shade and it's great for creating more of a bronzy glow. This uses a golden Topaz and it's actually considered the stone of good fortune. For the rose quartz, it's considered the universal stone of love. Quartz is my favorite and it's the one I constantly reach for. It's the one I'm wearing mostly on my face today. It's the one I've been wearing for most of my makeup looks in the last week or so on Snapchat. I just haven't been able to show it to you. It's got this pearlescent sheen. It's super hydrated and it just makes you look like you're glowing from within. It's never glittery, never like overly sparkly. It's just a very natural, dewy, healthy glow. And if you are afraid of highlights or you prefer a very natural look or you need something for a more like everyday get up and go situation, I definitely recommend Glossier products. You can't mess these up. They're just perfect. I love both. Both are super wearable and I show you how I wear both. I just think they're really great products. Glossier really take pride in the products they create and they really create products that is all about skin is in, which is why I love them so much. For everyday makeup, I think you should look your most radiant self. I think it should be quick, it should be easy, and it shouldn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. And obviously, I love makeup, my whole channel is about makeup, but for every single day, you're gonna see me look like I just rolled out of bed because Frankly, that's what I did. I do have a coupon code for $5 off on these and it's just Halo Serene. I will have it go across my face as well as in the description box below. If you're interested in seeing how I created this makeup look, it's very much revolving around these two highlights and how to create a very radiant, natural, skin is in type of makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. Starting off, I've already prepped my skin using the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This is a great hydrating moisturizer that is a nice base for any makeup products. I'm going to go in with my Matchco foundation. My base is set. I'm gonna go in with my concealer and it's the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I wear the shade Medium. And I'm going in with my Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna dampen this with the Caudalie Grape Water. You can use whatever water, but I, if I have fancy water laying around. I like to use it. So I do my best to get rid of the discoloration, but if a blemish pops through, it pops through. It's not that big of a deal. I'm human. Set my under eyes immediately because that does tend to get creasy. I have fine lines. I'm using the 100% pure fruit pigment foundation powder in Peach Bisque. Make it look very natural. Again, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender little bit damp and set that powder. I'm using a brow powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills in soft brown. I'm mixing the two colors together and filling in my brows real quick and then I'm gonna go over with boy brow. Boy brow is just so amazing. It sets my brows, it adds a little bit of thickness and texture without being crispy, which I hate. So this is a great product. I use the shade black. For my eyes today and on most days for like my no makeup look, I just use a bronzy cream shadow or a shadow stick. This one is from 100% Pure and it's in the shade Fiji. I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid just to add a little bit of color. I'm gonna go in with the Quartz Halo Scope and I'm gonna use my ring finger and go like that and apply it to my brow bone. In the inner corners as well. 
line my eyes I use a nude eye pencil for my lower lash line and I like to overextend the bottom lash line a little bit up to lift my eyes and brighten them I'm using a bronzy brown this is Teddy from Mac and I use this all over the top lash line and smudge it in I like that kind of smoldery I slept in my eyeliner look even though I would never sleep with my makeup on Curling the lashes and applying some mascara. This is the 100% Pure Miracuja Oil Mascara. I have been loving the Generation G, and my dog just is snorting at me. This is a lip product. We could use it as a cheek product too, and it would look really natural and flushed. I like to apply the blush on the right where my cheekbone is, and I like it as a lifting effect. If you want to bronze up your face a little bit, you can do that. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Now for the exciting part is using the Halo Scopes. And I'm going to obviously use Quartz because it's my favorite one. You'll see why because it just looks so, so natural. And I'm going to dot this on or kind of swipe it onto my cheekbones. And you can just see like how natural and beautiful that looks and dewy. Oh that there maybe some here wherever you want it and it's a twist up which is nice as well and just use your fingers to blend out the edges I love doing the cupid's bow and right at your chin you can see how this looks and then I'm gonna use topaz so we're gonna go in with a little bit of topaz and I'm just layering this, so if you want to get both shades, it's definitely worth it. It adds a little bit more of a golden, very subtle, and still very wearable. That's what I love about Glossier. It's makeup for the people. And maybe we'll put a little on my lid. I personally have to set everything with powder. If I don't, I'll be a grease ball by the end of the day, even though I have oil, uh, dry skin. It's weird. I'm just going to press the powder in the areas that... I'm gonna get a little bit oily. To make sure everything still looks very natural, very radiant and not powdery, I take my fancy water. And I did prep my lips before I started my makeup with the GlossierRoseBalm.com and the Priming Moisturizer. So I do that around the same time. You can see that's just a really pretty stain. Metallic lips are super in, but this would be like the Glossier way of doing it. Apply that to the center of your lips. And I'm just using Topaz. And that's my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I want to thank Glossier for letting me and trusting me to play with your products before they launch. I know they try to keep everything super hush hush. I highly encourage you guys to check these out. They will sell out. I feel like everything on Glossier sells out really quickly, so I encourage you if you're interested to just pick it up while it's still available. I will have all the products linked in the description box below as well as with the $5 discount code. If you're new to my channel, my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy because I truly hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I am not feeling that great, if I just put on a little bit Generation G and boy brow, it gives me the confidence and makes me feel so much better to go out into the world and deal with whatever it is I have to deal with. So if that speaks to you, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I also upload videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday with bonus uploads throughout the week. I also have a blog and lots of little things around my head. If you'd like to follow me on social media, go ahead and do so. If you tried out any Glossier products or you've been wanting to, please let me know your opinions in the comment section. It's a great place for us to share our thoughts our knowledge, our experiences with each other, and really build a strong community because that's why I'm on here and that's why I love YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you back here very soon. Bye!